In this lesson, we're going to learn how to build a map tour. And a map tour is going to allow the user to find destinations on a Google map and find directions to locations and do other useful things with maps. This app is going to use what's known as the Google Maps API or Application Programming Interface to enable us to tell Google Maps what we want to do with the maps. It's going to show us how to find locations, how to find directions, and so forth. The first thing we want to do is save this as just map tour. And the template has filled in several features for you. It's given the app a title. It's set its screen orientation to portrait. And it includes an activity starter. OK, this is the component in App Inventor that lets you start other application from within App Inventor. And what we're going to use it for is we're going to use it to start up Google Maps. So as you see here, I filled in three of the property values that taken together are the way App Inventor tells the Android operating system that it wants to start up Google Maps. You don't need to worry about those values. Uh, they're all set. The one value we do need to worry about is this data URI for data uniform resource indicator. And we'll be filling that in as we tell Google Maps what we want to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull an image component. And I'm going to just use this to show the static map. I'm setting its width to fill parent and its height I'm going to set to 50%. This map is just a picture. It does nothing functional in the app, but it gives the app a nice interface. The next thing we're going to pull in here is a list picker. Now, a list picker is a, as its name suggests, a component for picking options from a list. And we're going to use it to choose a destination to visit on the map. It looks just like a button. However, what it does is it provides us a list of options. So I need to go over to the blocks now and set up the list of options that I want to put into the list picker. So I'm defining a regular old variable, a destinations variable. And instead of assigning it a number or a string, I'm going to assign it a list of things. And I'm going to have four items in my list. And these are going to be destinations in Hartford, Connecticut, which is where our map tour is going to be centered. So the first one is the Connecticut State Capitol. The second location in Hartford, let's use the Mark Twain House. And the third one, why don't we put Trinity College? And as a fourth one, I'm going to put a bogus location, bogus theater of Hartford. So there is no such place. And that will cause the map to show us something else. OK, so those are our destinations that we want to be able to choose from. So how do we assign them to the list picker? Well, that's very easy. We can simply use the list picker elements property and assign these destinations, the entire list, right to the elements property. Now, where should we do this? Well, clearly we want these options to be available when the app starts up. So let's do it right from screen one initialize. OK, I've got the app started on my device. When I tap the list picker, as you can see, up comes this list. And now I can select things from the list. And the app will take action based on that selection. How do we take action when the user selects from the list picker? There's an event handler for that called list picker after picking. And what we want to do now is we want to open up Google Maps and go to the destination that the user picked. So for that, I'm going to need to set this data URI based on the API's instructions for visiting a destination. And once I do that, I can then start the Google Maps app. So I'm going to put in two pieces of text here. The first one is the instruction to, to go to a certain location. So I'm going to go to geo colon zero comma zero question mark Q equals, and I need to follow that with the selection that the user made. So I need to go to the list picker and ask it for whatever selection was last made. 
So I want the selection here. Now what I'm doing here is I'm telling the Maps API that I want to go to a certain geolocation and the location is given by this selection, one of these options here. So let's try that out now. Okay, I'm going to choose a destination. Let me choose Trinity College. And you can see it's bringing up the Google Maps app and centering it right on Trinity College. So how cool is that? As you see, I'm actually in the Google Maps app. I can ask for directions from here. I can look up restaurants and do whatever I want from there. So that's one use case for our app. I'm going to add a second one because I want to show you some features of using lists. I'm going to pull a button out here. I'm going to name this button Surprise Me. This will be where we tell the app to just pick a random location from our list and go there. So let's see. So we've set up the button. Now I'm going to go over to the blocks again. And what I want to do now is I want, when the Surprise Me button is clicked, I want to pick a random location off this list and have the map open up to that location. So I need to do this the same way, only I don't want to use something from the list picker. I want to use a random item from that list. So how do we do that? Well, fortunately, App Inventor gives us a pick random item block and I simply have to use that block to pick a random destination from this list. And once I do that, I can start up the activity starter. Okay, so let's give that a try. I'll click on my Surprise Me button, and we'll see what gets brought up. Well, it brought me to the Connecticut State Capitol in that case. What this is showing you is that App Inventor has a lot of blocks to manipulate lists, and the first one we're making use of here is picking a random item from a list. One last feature that I want to show you to illustrate the power of APIs is I want to show you that even though we don't need to, we can build asking for directions right into the app rather than waiting to do it on the Google Maps. So I'm going to have a directions button here. When we click this button, what we want it to do is use the last destination that was chosen and give us directions to that location. So let's see, button directions. When it is clicked, I want the activity starter to give me directions to, actually, let me copy this one. I want it to give me directions to the selection most recently made and then start the activity starter. However, if I give it this command, geo00, it's just going to show me that destination. I need a way to tell it to give me directions. So the command for that is google.navigation colon q equals and then the selection. So let's give that a try. Go back to our app. Let me choose a destination. Now if we ask for directions to that as you can see, it's finding the best route, and it shows me directions from my current location, which happens to be in another town. And you can see that it's about a 10-minute drive into Hartford to the state capital. So I hope you can see the power that the API gives us. After this tutorial, there's a few exercises for you to give this a try on your own to, to manipulate maps in other ways than the ones shown here.